Hey everybody, it's Mr. Sutton. I'm going to create a quick video to show you what you're going to do today. So we're going to go to photopia.com and open up a new project. You want it to be letter size in the print area, 300 dpi, and this will probably say 8.5 by 11. Clicking this will change it to landscape, so we want it landscape. And give it a name. I gave mine One Point Perspective Sutton. And I'm going to click Create. So now the next step is to put in my horizon line. So quickly I'm going to go to my shapes tool uh, over here and right now it's selecting the rectangle tool. If I click on that and hold it, I get other options. I'm going to choose line. And then what I'm going to do to draw the line and make sure it's horizontal is I'm going to hold down shift while I click and draw a horizontal line. That is our horizon line. And the next thing that I want to do, and notice that put it on another shape layer. It created a new layer in the layer panel. I'm going to lock it so that we don't move it accidentally or anything. And I'm going to go back to that where the line tool now is, click and hold it. And I'm going to go to parametric shapes. Parametric shapes are your polygons, right? Um, so uh, like it's probably defaulting to a polygon. And it's probably defaulting to something like five. Um, what I want you to do is change it to star. Choose a line width that's kind of small. I got it at 1.2. Uh, choose a color you'll be able to see. I've got it on black right now. And select 100 sides, zero inner radius, and zero corner radius. All right. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a spot on, on the line here. Let me zoom out a little bit. Control minus so I can see the whole thing. So where my vanishing point is going to go, I'm going to pick a spot on the line, click and trace, and you see it's going to give me all these perspective lines. When I click off that or hit enter and come out of that tool, I have all these perspective lines that I could work with. So here's my horizon line. This is my vanishing point right in the center here. And I have all these pre-drawn perspective lines that I can use pretty easily now. Okay, so what do I do next? So now I want to draw a cube in perspective. All right, so I'm going to go back to the where the polygon tool is, click and hold it, and go back to my rectangle tool. I'm also going to zoom in a little bit, so I'm going to go Command-0 to bring it out to fill the page. And I'm going to drop in a rectangle someplace. And I'm going to use these perspective lines as my guide. I also want to give it a fill color. Um, so I'm going to click a fill color. And let's make this a dark medium gray, something over here. All right, and I'm going to click OK. All right, so I got a black stroke, dark medium gray, and I'm going to drop in a rectangle. And I want the top and bottom corner right on perspective lines because that's going to make my life a lot easier. All right, so there it is. That's my first side of the box that's the front of the box so now how do I get in the other sides so to do the next side I'm going to drop in another rectangle this time I'm going to so I can see it better I'm going to change the fill color make it something a little lighter well let's make this the shadow side let's make it darker let's do this I'm going to uh, do a new transparent layer so that I'm not affecting this this layer where the square is. I'm going to change my color. So I'm going to go back to the rectangle tool, change the color, something a little darker. Click OK. And then I'm going to click and drag another rectangle off the first one. I don't want to go too far over with it. So that's going to be my side. It's clearly not in perspective right now. So what do I have to do to take, put that in perspective? Well, the first thing I want to do is I want to rasterize it. So let me rasterize that layer. I'm going to go Edit, and I'm going to come down to Transform, and I'm going to click Perspective. This is only going to put the net, this line, this top line of the box in perspective. I'm going to drag it up to one of those perspective lines, and I'm going to let go when I have it where I want it, and I'm going to click OK. The bottom is way off. Don't worry about it. We're going to fix that next. So let me go to edit. I'm going to go back to transform and this time I'm going to just 
distort, so it's going to actually change the shape a little bit. I don't want to use the it while it's curved like that because that's going to rotate it. I want to cover over it until it's a straight line. I also want to drag this up until I have a vertical line there and the bottom is right on that perspective line. So now I have the, the second side in perspective. All right, so now I can click the check mark. Now let's do the top of the box. Again, I'm going to do a new transparent layer so that I'm not affecting shape number, the, the one that says layer number one. Um, so now I'm going to drop a new rectangle on there. I'm going to this time make this my highlighted side. Let's say the sun is higher in the sky, so it's going to be brighter on that side. Um, so I want to click that in. I'm going to, again, starting from this corner, drag something up. Probably best to keep it close to the height that you want to go. And drag it over. And it kind of looks like a little flap uh, right now, but that's okay. And I'm going to leave it there. Let's rasterize it. Right click rasterize. And I'm going to go edit, transform, and perspective again. Now I'm just going to drag this corner over till it touches there. And I'll drag the center one out till the this end these two ends meet. This is way out on this side. Let's not worry about that yet. I'm going to click the check mark. And now to bring that back in, I'm going to go back to Edit, Transform, and Distort. And then I'm just going to hover over till I have a straight line and drag this one back in. So what I'm looking for here is to have this back to the perspective line and have all the sides matching up. If one side is a little bit off, I can adjust it a little bit. Let's bring this send back in a little bit. Oh, we don't want to rotate it. That's going to mess us up. And this side, match that up. When we have all the corners of the boxes matching up pretty well, we click the check mark and we have a box in perspective. All right, so what I'd like you to do is make three boxes. One box that's below the horizon line. So you're seeing the top, you're seeing one side, and you're seeing the, top, the, the front. So front, side, and top. Make one that's above the horizon line so that you're seeing the bottom, a side, and the front. And make one that is on the horizon line so you're just seeing one side and the front. Don't put any of them over the vanishing point. All right? So that's your assignment for today.